So the room downstairs, which I'm remodeling or redoing, is um, little to no sunlight down there. So what I decided to do is I came up with a master plan to add botanical elements, but they're going to be, oh, they're fake, I know. But I didn't have any other solution and I really wanted some kind of um, stuff on Amazon and uh, AliExpress. So you can imagine the wait time of making sure everything got here reasonably like close together. So I'm just still waiting on one more package and I hope I have enough flowers because it looks as if I do, but I still have to do the measurements of the wood. So I'm about to do that now just to see, um, to make sure that I have enough space. And so this is just gonna be like a little trial and then tomorrow I will assemble everything and put everything together. So, um, and Menno is over here getting the wood cutter ready. So we can chop this wood or cut this wood. So that's what he's doing. Cutter going on. And we also have a huge piece of plywood that we're gonna make my vertical succulent garden out of. We're about to go into the house now, but look at the mess we made. We have a little bit of a mess. I will have to come out here and clean up, but that is gonna happen in May. I will be redoing my vertical garden outside. So you're gonna have to wait for that one because it's not warm enough yet, but I will be redoing all my containers there. Before and after picture on there. And then also um, what I had up last, last year basement now and the measurements weren't accurate so we ended up having to do a little bit more cutting when we bought it down yeah there we go <laughs> This is becoming such a drawn out process. Ah, oh, I'm just so fed up. But on a good note, rocks just got delivered Saturday at like, what, seven o'clock or maybe six. Um, and I got some more of this. We're gonna express our way through this project today, this DIY project, the suckling garden, and it's gonna be amazing. So let's get started. First things first, I'm going to, I kind of organize how I want the flowers to be placed. So I have some kind of idea, a sense of direction. So I'm going to start with the big flowers first. Add some Amazon jungle in there. Um, rule number one, make sure that you have all your supplies. Make sure you have enough glue, first of all, because I just ran out of glue. <laughs> We're on day three, and it's been already a mission, but now we have the glue sticks finally. So, I got the glue, and we're going to start this thing again, and hopefully be able to finish it. I'm going to have some cleaning to do tomorrow. Alrighty, but I love the color of the, the green, it's like a deep forest green, I like that. So placement is everything, and we want to see, maybe I'll put rocks there, I'm not sure, but no, I think the flower is going to look really nice there. Right here, I'm working with dark green moss, and here I'm working with the light green moss. 
and I'm just gonna begin to gradually fade them in together, um, add more flowers, and see how it comes out. It's coming together great. I mean, it's really something, putting and adding and uh, just making something happen, making something out of nothing is super cool. I'm kind of proud of myself right now. <laughs> Again, to gradually fade them in together, um, add more flowers, and see how it comes out. So we have these. I'm about to put these somewhere. Not sure where yet, but we're gonna find a place. We're getting started to use the fillers. So I have these babies right here. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to just separate them piece by piece, just some of them, and I'm gonna add them around um, the moss. So this, this moss is a lot easier to use than the dried moss. The dried moss is super messy. It's getting everywhere. I was really in panic mode. I really thought that I had no more light green moss and it has to be balanced because I have the light green here and that would be kind of strange if I didn't have light green here. Check it out, check it out. After my fingers have been burned from the glue gun, the crystals in and they're holding really good with the, the hot glue. Here, here. Those are real air purifying plants that I found. So I'm just gonna take them out like this and, and just water them. I hope you enjoyed watching me put together this fabulous vertical garden. I will be having videos frequently and you can subscribe and follow me there. Alright.